holistic right-brained thinking, creative thinking, visual thinking. This is the language of genius, the language of invention, the language of human progress. Without the original creative insight, literally nothing would be worth doing. It is creative thinking that defines and gives purpose to our day-to-day -day activities. Periodically, throughout my life, when somebody hears that I was an art major, I get looks that vary between sympathy and disdain. Do you want fries with that? Behind these expressions is an implied question. What good is art anyway? My answer to that question is another question. What good is life? All the small questions are easy to answer. What good is a car? A car lets you travel longer distances quicker than on foot. It offers more convenience and spontaneity than public transportation. It takes you to the grocery store to get food, which you need to live. But why would you want to live tougher? The meaning of life and the meaning of art are more difficult to define because they're less concrete and they're larger in scale. All of the practical, easy to answer questions are only easy to answer because they work in service of the more difficult questions. Logical thinking and creative thinking work together. They serve as checks and balances for each other. Focusing on the ordinary tasks is how things get done. Without a reference point, however, it's easy for logical thinking to become less logical over time. Okay, working in middle management for a company that makes plastic stands for desk calendars puts food on the table for your family. But ultimately, it's not the plastic or the calendar or the desk or the food that's important. When you put things in perspective, these things are only remotely important if they're used in service of the people you care about and the experiences you share. You're born, you have experiences, and you die. There's no escaping this. If I asked people on the street what is the meaning of life, it's possible that no two would give me the same answer. Yet, clearly, for most of us, life does have meaning. So, how can we have so many conflicting ideas about life? Beyond the individual labels and philosophies, this is the ultimate shared experience. So, why do we lose sight of this and waste time killing each other over the specifics? Maybe what we share on the deepest level is more difficult to put into words. So, how can we express something that we can't put into words? Successful art uses the visual language to express something universal, even when dealing with specifics. It helps us to see the big picture. You got no regrets, just center and cigarettes left behind with your bills, junk mail and long distance bills, banana moon. Banana